Hey everyone, let's take a look at the last galaxy I'm going to image this galaxy season. Welcome to SETI Astro. To image M83, the southern pinwheel, it is very, very low in the south for me. Uh, even at transit, it's not even 29 degrees in the sky. So it did limit how much exposure time I was able to get on this particular image. I only did get uh, 13 hours of exposure on it, nine of which was for RGB, four of which was uh, dedicated hydrogen. Here's the red channel. Red channel turned out really well, even removing the stars. Same with the green, a lot of detail. And blue was uh, quite a bit fainter, but I think that was just due to the STF stretch with my... Uh, acro star bloat in there a little bit so um also blue i didn't get nearly as much exposure time on less than half of the red and green channels i wanted to get uh, more data on those channels they're cleaner in my rig hydrogen for me was rather surprising i didn't think this galaxy had a lot of hydrogen in it i don't see many images with uh, hydrogen added to it but this is just the, the hydrogen master here. You could see that the whole galaxy is, is nicely lit up in narrow band, which is uh, not normally seen. I do want to show off a new script I'm working on. This is my hydrogen red red combination for continuum subtraction. I think everybody's had a problem trying to find uh, previews before, especially one with a big star field like this. Uh, so the new script automatically finds a background preview area for you it uh it essentially throws 20 random balls on the screen and they roll downhill to the lowest pixel values and that region where those lowest pixel values are will be the uh, region of interest for our background so just run the script here you'll see it's gone through those various paths and it found me a preview and that preview is going to be perfect for my background neutralization and color calibration for, for everything. So if you want to try the script out, uh, just let me know. You could try the beta algorithm right now. Doing continuum subtraction, you can definitely see that the arms are just full of hydrogen nebulosity. But the other thing I noticed doing continuum subtraction was an object off to the right here. It has a shadow bar in the middle of it. There is some diffuse hydrogen nebulosity around it. I didn't know what that particular object was at this stage of processing. Since I didn't have any oxygen data, I didn't want the hydrogen just to be a red red color i actually used the narrowband color mapper script to give it the color i want it which was more of this burnt orange i think that uh screens a lot nicer with the continuum rgb data having that nicer color than just the the stark red and again looking at some of these other objects now that we colorized it some you could really see that hydrogen object with that shadow again i don't know if that was just an artifact from the continuum subtraction or if that was true and then down in the very bottom there are some other dots of hydrogen down in this region from from a galaxy that was prominently seen uh, when i was doing rgb so I, I knew this was associated with a galaxy combining the rgb channels together and using my statistical stretch in order to do the uh, initial stretch on it. it, turned out really well. I just did a little more local histogram equalization to kind of bring out the the bands in the in the galaxy a little bit more, uh, but no need to touch uh, GHS in this image either. So then I took the RGB starless image and my colored continuum subtracted image to produce my full H alpha RGB image. 
I think it turned out uh, pretty well. The colors came through a lot better than just that red that normally show up. And then zooming in on that other area of interest, it's, it's still there with that weird shadow. And down in the bottom, that hydrogen is definitely associated with this, this galaxy down here. Adding the stars back in, I got my final M83 Southern Pinwheel Galaxy image. And now we can really see that there is this diffuse area around where that shadow was. And a really bright, what appears to be a star. But looking it up, it's not a star. It's the core of this uh, Galaxy PGC 48287. So after continuum subtraction, it was able to actually see that structure within the core here in this galaxy, which I think is just crazy that 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 came through that we were able to see that. And if I blink between the two screens, you can see a continuum subtraction did leave that that shadow through the, the center of it. I'm not 100% sure if that is not an artifact of just doing the subtraction itself or if it's truly there, but considering this is a galaxy, it would not surprise me if that is true structure within the, the core of that distant galaxy. Apparently, uh, I shouldn't have been surprised that there is so much hydrogen in this M83 Southern Pinwheel Galaxy because it is cataloged to death. There is just tons of information on this particular galaxy and the hydrogen structures. I suppose it makes sense. I mean, it pa passes right over the Chile observatories. It would be a prime candidate for doing that kind of research. And there was only one quasar in the whole image here, uh, B1333298, at a redshift of 1.9, which puts it at 16.7 billion light years away in the co-moving radial coordinates. I have updated Ashurbin with my M83 Southern Pinwheel and the annotated version. My acquisition details, a write-up on some of this, some close and crops of the galaxy and the continuum subtracted areas, including the, the one with the shadow through the core and the quasar. I have also updated my website, setiastro.com, with M83, the Southern Pinwheel along with a before and after slider for the continuum subtraction, zoomable images, a write-up, and some close and crops. I hope you have all had a successful galaxy season. Here's looking forward to nebula season. Comment, like, and subscribe.